Women from all walks of life join together to attend the Women's March in the nation's capital on Saturday, January 18th. The march started with a meetup at Freedom Plaza and included several chants inspiring women to rise up. I'm here from Nebraska. Um, I attended the march three years in Nebraska, but I felt with the vote coming up, I needed to do something bigger. And I, there's nothing bigger than Washington, D.C. I work uh, within the fine arts. Um, and I'm a teacher, most of all, and I have tons of female students. So I'm here shouting for them, I'm here shouting for my mama, I'm here shouting for anyone who can be here. I'm here shouting for everyone. I'm just here to shout for them. <laughs> most people attended in support of women's rights, but that doesn't mean everyone was on the same accord. There were counter protests from anti abortion groups dispersed throughout the march the anti-abortion groups were met with resistance from others who didn't quite appreciate their tactic. I wanted to block out the stop. It's a lot of hate. It's, it's a shame of like having to do it. Like, it's sort of like, it's bittersweet because it's like, I shouldn't have to do this. But if I can help people, that's great. And also getting these other people to come in here and help, it's so great to build this community and help other people realize that we can have direct change, we can have direct action here by working together. The Women's March brings out a diverse crowd, regardless of age and ethnicity. Events like this highlight the effect of people coming together to make change. Younger girls and children can see this and carry out the tradition. I really think it's really important when these um, young girls ask questions. We don't just shush them. We allow them to speak so their voice can be heard and then hear an explanation from an older person as myself. Bad weather did not stop hundreds of women and men from coming out to march for women's rights. Whether it was reproductive rights or equal pay, everybody made sure to have their voices heard today. We'll see you next year for Spotlight Network. I'm Shayla Farrow.